year two in a Dodger uniform, yeah. obviously everyone knows you're from the area. Yeah. Do you still have the pinch me moments that I'm a Dodger? Uh, I, every so often, like uh, about a month and a half ago, my uncle sent a picture uh, of me when I was 16 years old here at Dodger Stadium when I was named Affleck All-American for the All-American game. That's where Jason and I actually met. But it was me on the field with Nomar Garcia Parra introducing me and um, giving me a bat and a jersey. So kind of things when you come here as a kid and do all that, um, and then all of a sudden you're sitting here playing for the Dodgers. Um, I think you get pinch me moments every here and every so often, but when you come here every day it's um, and you see 50,000 people, it's pretty special to be able to play here. You spend a lot of time in the ATL. Yep. Everyone knows that as well. Yep. How has the adjustment been, not only for you, but for your, for your family? Uh, the on and off the field of living in Atlanta, Georgia, mm -hmm. to being in Southern California? Uh, it was it was an adjustment for sure. We started coming back uh, in the off seasons in 2019. Uh, we, we live in Orange County, so it was a little bit of adjustment, but it wasn't that big of one since we already kind of had a house here, and obviously being from Orange County definitely helped. But still, we had a, a routine, a life that was pretty much just kind of went in circle, and everything was kind of flowing very nicely in Atlanta, and then obviously job sometimes everyone deals with it uh takes you somewhere else and you just do the best you can with dealing with everything that was going on but um you know we've got a pretty good family and a family support group and um you know they wrapped their arms around us and made us get on the feet our feet on the ground as fast as we could gotcha uh we've seen you playing with your your kids <laughs> yeah. i mean how therapeutic is that for you and what do you how, i mean i have three girls you've yeah. got boys so mm -hmm. how cool is it to be out <laughs> on the field throwing to your kid watching him slug it and you know just getting to be in that involved yeah i'm a, if you guys ever know me family's number one for me as you can see i got grass stains on my pants <laughs> i just was spent an hour throwing balls to charlie um i got two two-year-olds too so they're not ready to come out here yet and if they did this whole place would probably burn down because they are crazy <laughs> but um th having three kids it's 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 fun um you know obviously if you look at my career i actually started playing a whole lot better when I got kids and um, I think that's a testament to you know, if you go 0 for 4 or 4 for 4 they don't really care you know and uh, that makes the 0 for 4 days a little bit easier when you got kids jumping on you and hugging you and loving on you no matter what so uh, it's easy to just forget about the games and when it's just so fun being a dad you know it's to see little lives grow and yeah. their personalities it's just it's just so fun and to be able to share it out here on the field uh, with Charlie and hopefully in the next year or two get the other two out here it's, it's gonna be fun you obviously you give back to Elmo Dina yeah. High School where you prepped yeah. how important is that to you and how much did that shape your life those years there in Orange County? Uh, Elmo Dina is very special to me um, when my mom passed away when I was 10 years old my oldest brother Andrew was actually going to Elmo Dina and Steve Bernard the high school baseball coach there took wonderful care of him um, so as I came of age to be of high school, I obviously lived in the Villa Park High School School District. Uh, my dad actually open enrolled me into El Medina um, more because of Steve Bernard. And uh, it was a wonderful four years. He looked out for me. I was young for my age. I, obviously, I went to high school at 13 years old. And um, he took care of me, made sure I did my school work. I wasn't very good at that the first couple of years. I'll be the first one to admit. And he made sure I did my work. And um, I had so many wonderful memories there, um, so many good people that took care of me. Um, and that's why I give back. I still, that's where I train. Um, uh, when I start hitting in the off season, I go back to El Medina. The head baseball coach was the assistant when I was there. so. Josh Kleiner has been so gracious uh, with allowing me in the field and obviously the principal and the vice principal have been so wonderful to let me come during school hours and hit and stuff like that. So if I can give back like I did this past off season, build a new clubhouse. So I can't wait for that to get off the ground and uh, El Medina is special um, and it's pretty cool that I get to take Charlie and see my, my family there to see where I grew up. That continuity must be wonderful that there's still some people there mm -hmm. from when you were there. Yeah, it, it sure is. Um, you get to play in front of your dad an awful lot now. Yeah. How big is that to you? And in the summer, you played in the WBC for Canada. Yeah. A lot of people, obviously well documented, but you did that for the memory of your mother. Talk yes. about both of those things, please. Yeah, so last night, actually, my dad was sitting in our seats and watching me play. Um, it, that's the little things that are so wonderful that, of me being a Dodger. 
Um, I grew up 45 minutes from here. Sometimes it can take three hours, though. <laughs> we all know <laughs> Southern California right. traffic. But uh, my dad comes a lot, and that's, you know, when I played for the Braves, I got, he would come when I played, obviously, the Dodgers in San Diego, and then the Giants, he'd come up in Arizona. So he would see me about 12 times, 12, 15 games, 12, 15 days out of a uh, course of seven months. So those are the little things that, um, as we get older in life, mean a little bit more to to me and you know my dad's 68 and so the every extra day I get to spend with him is, is definitely special and obviously WBC means a lot to me the first time I played was in 7, 2017 and obviously this last time both, both my parents are Canadian um, they were my dad was born in Windsor Ontario my mom in Peterborough which is another uh, city in Ontario I lost my mom when I was 10 so um, I do pretty much everything I do is to honor her um, I wear sleeves every game because she died of melanoma skin cancer so when I put sleeves on, it covers my skin. It makes me remind him, remember her. So, um, my dad would say he's pretty much American now because he moved here when he was 12. So, um, but uh, can't, putting on a Canada uniform means a little bit extra uh, to me. And you know, anything I can do to keep my mom's memory alive, because as we're here, she it was actually her uh, death day two days ago, June 13th. So. We're still talking about Rosemary Freeman 23 years later. So that's that's what it means to me. Um, keep her memory alive and. She was a wonderful lady, and I wish she was here to watch me play, but she's got a front row seat right now. Looking down, yes, yep. definitely, without a doubt. And finally, I'll wrap it up with, um, you know, this has been a wild season so yeah. far, the first half. Yeah, it has. Diamondbacks, no one saw that coming probably. Giants are steady. You guys mm -hmm. are right there. Uh, people expect the pods to probably pick it up a little yep. bit. How do you see the second half rolling out, and what do you guys need to do to get where you want to be? Yeah, it's a, it's a, I think we knew the Diamondbacks were real after the first 10 games. We played them eight times in the first <laughs> two weeks. Um, they got really good pitching staff, the young guys. Um, it's kind of what I saw as a Brave. You know, we had uh, Acuna, Albies, Austin Riley. All those guys came up, and they got that going on there with Corbin Carroll. You got uh, Perdomo at short, and you got the veteran guys like Christian Walker and Evan Longoria, and then obviously their pitching staff is really, really good. So um, it it's kind of reminds me a lot of us back in the day. And, um, you know, they just got a good team. And some, like in 2018, no one picked us to win the division for the Braves, and we, we did. So um, we don't want that to happen for them. We want to do that. <laughs> but it's a good division. It's a competitive division, and we're not going to run away with it like we did last year. We just um, – I think it's going to be a grind. And that, that's what makes baseball fun. It's fun for the fans. Um, and we, when you got four good teams, obviously the Rockies can still throw out Freeland and those kind of guys, and you can beat you any given day too. So um, it's going to be a fun second half. It's going to be intense baseball, I think, all the way through. Um, and hopefully the summer ends with us winning another division title. Very good. Yep. Last question. We have the All-Star Game on yep. Fox uh, this year, and uh, you have been involved in that quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope it happens again. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, what do you love about the All-Star Game? I think what's so special is now that we have interleague, I think which is cool that we play every single team, it's more for the fans to see all all the great players on one field. And we try and do the best we can to put on a good show for those two days. Um, I think it's a pretty cool event. They do, we, we try and do as much as we can in those two days. It's, a, it's hectic, but um, you know, it's special. You never know when it's either going to be your first or your last one. So I, I, I try and enjoy it as much as I can. Now that I have Charlie, that's going to remember those kind of things. Um, that's what makes it more fun for me because he's so excited to see all the other players. Um, so hopefully um, it, it, I, I can make it again because he likes to meet, see everybody like Acuna and Albies and all those guys. So hopefully I can make a few more as I get older so my younger one, my two-year-olds can see me in the All-Star Game. But All-Star Games are so fun. It's just uh, to you compete against everybody for so long and then you get two days of sharing a clubhouse and then even with the American League guys, you kind of you get, you get together and hang out and stuff like that. I think it's... It, it's a breath of fresh air that you don't have to like try and beat someone for a couple of days. And you just get to see and hang out with the guys that you compete with, that you've competed with for a long time. And then you get to see the young guys, the new guys that are coming up, that it, maybe get to experience their first All Star game, and you get to be there with them and, and, and help them guide through those those fun two days. So um, if it happens, it's going to be great. It'll be a good time, like it always is.